All right, welcome back to a brand new video of the Target Individual Program, Target Individual Experience. And it's raining again. <laughs> you know, this week has been one of the most rainiest uh, week that I've seen so far. It seems like they rain every damn day. Anyhow, uh, I woke up around 9 o'clock this morning and uh, tried to fall back asleep. So I got very little sleep. Like I said, my insomnia has been kicking my butt. It is now going on 2.30 and I'm just leaving the house. I had forgot to um, uh, upload my videos so I can get make some space on my phone. And uh, yeah. I see the ambulance, I mean the fire trucks in the background. They're very low, very low volume though. <laughs> the video I posted with Dr. Robert Duncan. You know, like I said, they, the other doctor, uh, what's his name? Uh, Lynn Bear. Same injury. Same injury brain injury that I have yeah. and uh, his targeting began in uh, as he said 2019 what's going on yeah what's going on how you doing good all right so his targeting began in 2019 and to have uh, you know the damage that he has all right now i've been targeted others been targeted for two three four decades with these weapons so you could imagine what their brain scan looked like you know but sad thing is that many of them didn't uh don't didn't get a brain scan because again uh if, they, if you're targeting beginning the early 1990s you know my twin brother his targeting beginning in the mid 90s I would say at the same time because we're twins uh they were targeting me hitting me with these weapons because again you know we hanged out together you know not all the time you know <laughs> but you know we hang out together you know we uh spoke on the phone all this stuff so it's like i look at my targeting particularly how to use my kids like with my daughter and i of my son both my sons and so i know that they are targeting also because when they're using this technology on them to co-op their consciousness or to hijack their consciousness to uh, put words in there or take over their mind to, um, you know, say certain things or ask me certain questions, which, you know, out of the blue, like I said, no, um, no child would really ask an adult these sort of questions. You know, and then both my kids with the uh, okay. uh you know with their memory loss right so they don't remember things as much as well as they should at their age you know so that that's an issue there but they don't want to tell you these things they don't want to tell you the truth why because they want you to participate in this and i'm talking to the perps in doing what they're doing not realizing that what you're doing is a crime yeah, at least you, you probably do realize it, but you just don't care because those in the authoritative position, you figure, you know, because they give you a false sense of power, that you too can do whatever you And, uh, you know, like I said, I'm not having that. There's no way I'm allowed to do this to me or anybody else. And you think that I'm going to be silent. Right? Based off of your covert. Uh, operations, your covert warfare, your covert psychological operations, your covert psychological warfare. Nope, not happening. So yeah, you know one of the things. Uh, also, what this after I posted that video, and again I posted that video pretty late at night. You know. Um,
and I see the New York Predator Department went quiet <laughs> for for about an hour or so. You know, they stopped using the sirens. I guess they was trying to look and see the response. You know, we're all monitored. All our online activities are monitored. All right, you should know that by now. All right? Or did Edward Snowden reveal? And believe me, they they didn't uh, stop their, their their program of uh, illegal surveillance. They didn't stop it. You know, they just went even darker. You know, so this is why you see you'll stop seeing whistleblower coming forward because whistleblowers who come forward in the past you know they were targeted and some people who work within the government they know so like I said I call them heroes because they take a big chance you know and because their their conscience wouldn't allow them to continue to participate in criminal action against the people so I applaud them right. and yeah talk to you guys next video should have took my umbrella i didn't think it was gonna start raining like this jeez and i just missed my bus <laughs> i just missed my bus anyhow i'll talk to you guys in the next video